Hey everyone, it's Olivia from ConvertKit and in this week's Tuesday Tip video, we're going over how to add an image gallery to a landing page. This new feature allows you to add curated groups of images to your landing pages. You have control over the styling and layout and you can also easily rearrange the content. Let's take a closer look at how to set this up and the display options that are available. First, to create a gallery, you'll want to click within a paragraph text holder on your landing page and then click the plus sign to reveal the content block menu. If galleries are supported in that area of the template, you'll find it under the Insert Below heading. Click on the empty placeholder in your gallery to add an image to it. It's the same process as it is to add an image anywhere else in the app. You'll note there's a space where you can add optional captions for each image, or you can leave them blank and they won't show in your final design. Once you've added all your images, you can click on any one of them, and then from the sidebar, you can edit, replace, or remove that particular image as well as easily rearrange it within the gallery by dragging and dropping. You can also add a URL if you want that image to link to another page. Next, let's check out the different display options for your gallery as a whole. Click the Settings button to reveal them in the sidebar. First, under Layout, you can decide whether you'd like your images displayed in a grid format or as a more traditional gallery view with a feature image and the ability to toggle through the images. Next, you can adjust how rounded the corners of the images are, or remove the rounding altogether. If you chose to add captions, you can format the text styling here. The next two options are only available if you have the grid layout selected. You can configure the number of columns in which your images are displayed, as well as how they are cropped. The Rearrange Elements section at the bottom allows you to drag and drop your gallery's position relative to the content surrounding it, or remove the gallery altogether by clicking the X. At any point, you can use the preview button to get a better idea of the final appearance of your gallery. You can see how the empty placeholders and other editing prompts disappear in the final design. That's all for this tutorial. We hope you enjoy using galleries to show off your work to your audience in a whole new way.